What's going on guys, No Slack Novak here with another episode of Airport CEO. Now we've got a few things lined up for this episode and one of the first things that I want to do is uh, I've been paying attention to your comments and I actually had this in mind before I even read the first comment about this but uh, we want to separate our check-in area from our baggage claim area, right? It just doesn't really make sense for them to be sharing the same area uh, because we know a lot of these guys, they come in here from the buses and they'll go over here, they'll check in, or before they even go to check in, they'll fill up these seats, and then once those get filled up, they'll come over here and they'll kind of uh, fill in the baggage claim seating area, which is not something that we want to do, right? We want to kind of make that separate uh, for check-in and then baggage claim over here. So that's a simple solution. All we're going to do is we're going to add in a wall right smack down the middle right there, and that is going to be perfect for us right there. Now, to... Uh, since we did that, we have to give them an exit over here, right? We, we have to allow them to leave. We can't just let them kind of, uh, you know, stay there until they die at the airport. So we're going to have to add in a sidewalk. I don't want to do anything too crazy. We're just going to do, you know what, we're not even going to go that far. We're going to make the exits like over here. So we're going to do something like a two by two or, uh, you know, two wide here. We'll do like a two wide there and then we'll kind of connect this over here. Nothing too crazy. And then we're going to give them a door, and I'm thinking we're just going to do the large door. Uh, maybe we'll do one over here, and then we can kind of do another one uh, over here. And then that is nice and separated for us. And then I'm thinking, too, the zones, I don't think we have to do it as baggage claim, because we already have this over here. I think we're looking fine. I think we're going to be more than okay with the way that it is right now. Um, we should probably give them a restroom, though. Um, we should have probably given them a restroom over here in the actual check-in zone as well. But we don't really have too much space for that. Um, we have, however, plenty of space to do restrooms over here. But I'm thinking we're probably going to end up doing shops over here. I mean, maybe we could fit in... Maybe we can fit in restrooms, a shop, and a restaurant over there. That might be something that we could do. Mm, let's see how we would do this. So if we did food, um, we could maybe do food like over here. Not quite sure how large we want to make that. Um, the entire wall over here is 28. Um, so that would pretty much be like 9. 9 by whatever. Um, so if we did something like this, 8 by 9. Uh, if we did that as like the uh, the food, right? And then if we did a shop next to it, we could maybe do uh, eight by nine right there. And then maybe uh, maybe we'll be able to fit two restrooms over here. Not quite sure if we're gonna be able to do that. Um, let's just go with that for now. I kind of want to put a wall separating the uh, the shop from the food too. Uh, we'll do something like this. Maybe three. Three and then I don't know if I don't know if that'll work. We'll have to figure it out. Um, sign a contract. Can we fit a two star? Uh, we cannot. One star. We could fit the one star. Seventy two by thirty nine meters square. Uh, seventy two by thirty nine. And why is this one? Uh, seventy two by one thirty five. Okay. Still not sure exactly how that works. I'll be honest with you guys. Like this one here is not big enough either. Which is kind of crazy to me. Not quite sure why it's not. 72 by 45 is good. But then 72 by 139 is not. But you know what? I think we'll be okay. We'll just do that. And then we'll try to fit in a restroom over here for both. Um, male and female. And you know what? Maybe... Can we fit a restroom if we did... Hmm. Let's figure this out. Bathrooms... I don't think we can. I don't think we want to really do it like that. We can. Yeah, why not? 8x4. Let's do an 8x4 right there. And then we could do an 8x4 over here. We can go even a little bit further. We can go a little bit further. Um, let's do something like 9x4. Yeah, we'll do 10x4. Let's get rid of this. Uh, nope, get the hell out of my way, please. Areas. 
bathroom. I just want to get rid of this. Yes, delete. Okay, good. Um, bathroom, the other one was 10 by 4, right? 10 by 4, that's going to fit perfectly right there. Just go ahead and do a wall. Separating the two restrooms. Bang, bang, bang. And we're good there. So that's going to be two new restrooms over there in the baggage claim area. Just in case people are hanging out a little too long. Uh, maybe their baggage is missing. They can kind of go pee pee or potty or whatever they need to do right there. So that's going to work out for us there. Uh, we're all good here. We might extend this uh, seating area or just maybe do another one over here somewhere. Um, but that's good that we have that there. Now, shop. This is going to be the small one, right? We're going to sign a contract. And what's going on here? Why are people coming in? Why are you guys coming in? Why are you guys coming in over here? You guys should be coming in right there. It's because all these seats are filled up. Is that why? And why is nobody using... Oh, they're like broken. That's crazy. I don't want you guys coming over here though. And I don't really want to make that a secured area either. That's crazy. These guys should not be allowed to use the baggage area. This should be for only exiting passengers. That's not what we want. That's not what we want at all. Oh boy. Okay. Well, you know what? We're going to have to address that later. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. We'll set this up. So shops over here, right? We're going to sign a contract. We are going to have to do just the one by one. So Hilltop Cafe. You guys want one cafe fridge and then you want a cafe counter. Uh, sales for bonus 1600 not quite sure we're gonna be able to get that but let's do a cafe fridge and a cafe counter actually what did I say since we built these restrooms here we can actually expand this a little bit more let's see if that'll actually fit um, this over here I believe that was the shop right let's go ahead and get rid of that oh, nope uh oh there we go came back okay so we're gonna get rid of that and then we're going to build the shop over again. We're going to try to make this a little bit larger. Something like that. And then let's see if maybe that now allows us to do the uh, the larger contract. Um, two star here. Nope, still not large enough. Oh well. Uh, quick stop or Turner. Um, this is going to give us $2 per square and then 2%. This one here is the same thing. 15, 50, 17. We'll go with Turner. Uh, let's go ahead and sign this contract here. They need the two shelves and they need the uh, the one register, right? Why? It's not allowing me to sign it. Oh, because we don't have the items yet, I think? Okay, we can get those items, no problem. No problem. So we need shelves. I'm thinking let's do a few large shelves. Doesn't matter how we put these down, it doesn't look like it. Okay, let's do large, 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 and then maybe some medium. How big is the uh, the register? Shop cashier. Oh, that's pretty large. Okay. Um, let's put this bad boy right... Is that the way we want it? Yeah. We'll put that right there. And then we can go ahead and maybe do some medium over here. We'll do one medium. And then let's do a few small after that. So like bam, bam, bam. And that should be good. That'll be a decent little store right there. And then over here, what are we going to do here? Um, actually, we have to sign this contract first. Uh, Turner, we said we were going to do. Bam, that got signed. Beautiful. Items already showed up. Over here, we want to sign a contract with a one-star Hilltop Cafe. They want the one fridge and then the cafe counter. So let's go ahead and build that. Uh, fridge display right there. They are going to come in. I want to make sure we have this set the right way. Uh, that is the correct way to display that. So I'm thinking, why don't we put this like over here? Um, yep, there, there, and there. And then, ooh, hold on. Cafe counter. Okay. Nope, 
That's not how we want it. This is not how we want it. Um, cafe counter. Hmm, should we maybe do it like over here? You know what? We probably could. Um, let's do the cafe counter over here. Is that facing the right direction? No, we want it facing this direction. So we're going to put that right there. Right there. And then let's do the fridge displays. We could do like a fridge display right there. And that'll be kind of like where the employees maybe come in. And then we could do something like that. Is that the correct way? I think so. I think that's going to look fine. So we've got that going for us. Let's speed up time just so we can get these guys in there and then we can sign that contract. And that should please the people that are waiting on their luggage. That should really be all that we need. Um, in terms of... We're still building this. There is a worker there though, so that's excellent. Uh, we need to put some doors down here into our restrooms. Uh, small door. You know what, we'll do medium door. Um, let's do it right there. And then we'll do this one on the opposite side right there. Oh, come on guys, I need you to deliver this stuff. Okay, good. So that's in there. Let's go ahead and sign the contract with Hilltop Cafe. Bam, beautiful. Contract is signed. That should start working here very, very shortly. I really want to get these workers the heck out of here. I'd like that a lot, as a matter of fact. People are waiting on their luggage, which that should be coming here very shortly. Let's uh, take a look at that. And then, you know what? Somebody in the live stream pointed out, too, that we could actually increase this. So let's increase the ramp agents to six on each side. That way we can kind of get this done a little bit faster. More luggage to unload there. We're going to have plenty of luggage to load up over here. Not quite sure why they didn't do the rest of the luggage. Okay. Looks like we might need some more service cars, too. How many do we have right now? We have three there, and it looks like we have three there. Do we have six total? Is that really how many we have? Um, procurement. It won't tell me how many we have. But let's go ahead, just in case. Let's get two more. Uh, we'll order two more, and then that should really help in case there's some sort of like a backlog. Because there's one here. There's one driving around down here. Um... Hmm. Uh, you know what? It's better safe than sorry. Better to have too much than too little. Okay. So our shop's over here. That should be working. Have we sold anything yet? Yes. Nine. Nine items have been sold. Awesome. Uh, and then over here. How are we looking? 74 sales. Wow. Okay. So 74 sales. That's not bad at all. Looks like there's actually a little bit of a line to get in there too. Wow, interesting. And then these guys are kind of going around. So I'm thinking maybe I put those in the wrong way. No, it looks, it looks right. It looks like we have the cakes on the top shelf. Whatever this is on the next bottom, next bottom, and then this is the very bottom, right? Like, it doesn't look like it should be going the other way around. That looks correct. I like the way that looks. That looks right to me. So that's what we're going to go with. Uh, looking fine. And look at that. Our, our luggage is coming in here, and it's actually working pretty well. Working pretty, pretty well. I'm happy with that. Good, good. To, we have to decorate this area, too, because that's not that's not pretty enough for us. Uh, so let's see. We did the shop. We did the food. Uh, we got the little sidewalk in there, too. That's going to allow these people to kind of go to and from the baggage claim. Um, I really don't like these guys coming in here, though. The, the, the guys that aren't part of the departing uh, passengers. These guys are... Uh, a lot of these guys are the people that it should be checking in. So that makes me think... I mean, they're, you know what, they're probably just going over there to, like, grab some food or maybe do some shopping. And then also we need to fill out these restrooms, too. So let's go ahead and get that knocked out. Um, we are going to go ahead, we're going to do that. And I'm also going to do the flooring there, right, which we kind of want the tiled floor. So let's do something like that. Let's put in everything that we need to put in there for the restroom. Um, not infrastructure, I guess items. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to do the trash cans over here and over here 
And then let's just put in a bunch of sinks. Sinks galore. That's all looking perfect. And then again, we're going to have to do a men's and a women's. So let's go ahead and do toilet. Uh, we can make this one over here the men's. And then this one over here can be women's. So this one's just obviously going to be all toilets. No urinals for the women. And then over here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do urinals for the men. And we should be good there. That is going to be solid. So this one here, men. This one over here, women. And our workers are going to get that knocked out. They're still at nine sales. They've sold one more thing. Total revenue, 420 bucks. Okay. I don't think we're going to complete that contract. How about over here? 108. Nice. So far, we've made $343 off of that. It's not bad. Uh, and we definitely d uh, still need to add some stuff over here, right? We've got the restrooms over here, which is good. Um, but we still need to add in maybe like a shop over here somewhere in this terminal. Which really the only place that we could do that is if we expand further west and then maybe, um, I don't know, build down here and kind of do like a shop slash food court area down here or something. Uh, we'll try to figure that out. Are these still broken? No, they fixed it. Good. That's good. So that's a little bit more seating there for those guys. Which I think they're probably just going to need even more seating though. Because like I said, a lot of those guys are coming into the baggage claim area to, to relax. Which is not what we want. We do not want that whatsoever. Um, let's see, what else do we want to do? Uh, we closed off the baggage area. So that so I can cross that off of my list of things to do. Mm, let's go ahead. Let's kind of make this look a little bit prettier. Because I don't like how, how simple this is. Um, even if it's just something as simple as doing maybe like large plants all the way throughout here. I think that will look a lot better. And we could do something like this. Kind of maybe change it up a little bit. Um, large plant. Large plant. We'll do something like that. And then let's go ahead and go to the small plant and we'll kind of place those in between. No, it's not symmetrical, but you know what? It's going to be okay. So that's going to be good there. Fast forward, get those installed. Restrooms should be installed here shortly as well. Looks like they already are. That's excellent. Maybe, like, I don't like how it's looking all dark. Is that just the flooring that's making it look dark like that? Or is it because we don't have, like, really any kind of lighting in there? That's probably more of the case. There's just no lighting in there, but you know what? We don't have any lighting in our in our items over here. So there's really nothing we could do about that. Hmm. Maybe it's the flooring too, though. Maybe the flooring is just making it look so dark. What if we went with something like this? Would that maybe lighten it up? Br make it a little bit brighter? No, it didn't really do anything. Okay. Interesting. Oh well. We'll live. Yeah, see, that definitely makes it look a little bit better right there. I like that. That looks good. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, definitely need to add more seating over here, too. But that's going to cause us problems with more of the check-in people going over there. And we don't really have the room over here uh, to do that. We can maybe add in another check-in desk. Let's see, this one... Multiple flights over here, multiple flights over here, just one. And then over here we have two. Um, how are we looking though? We have another few flights coming in today. Four, uh, five, and like a sixth one is coming in right now as a matter of fact. And then what do we have here? This is for general aviation and this one is for commercial only. Which I'm thinking maybe we should switch that up. Maybe we should just allow... Or, you know what, it might benefit us, which I don't think we're going to be able to do it. It's not going to fit. It's not going to be large enough. I was thinking about maybe doing another uh, runway and doing one like down here and then just making that strictly for general aviation, but that's not going to work. Hmm, that is not going to work. Nope, nope, nope. What we could do, though... It's kind of, uh, well, no, you don't want to do that because this is general aviation. I was going to say we could, like, intersect one of these taxiways with the runway and connect it up here. 
just to kind of make it a little bit faster for some of these planes to take off. But all these planes are just taken off on this runway. They're landing and taken off on this runway. So that's not something that we really have to worry about. Mm hmm. Hmm. How's our luggage faring? Yeah, it looks like they're working. Uh, we only have the four employees over there, though. Four employees over here, and I did raise it to six on each side. So I'm thinking we're probably just short on ramp agents. So right now I want to have six on each side, so that would be 12. And then we have the three gates, right? So that's going to be 20 ramp agents total that we need. 20 total plus whoever like their breakers are. So let's see how many we actually have right now. Uh, ramp agents we have. Mm, it's going to play this game with me again, huh? Okay, you want to play that game? Service technician, HR director. Oh, we're all the way at the, the bottom, that's why. Okay, here we go. This is what we have. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Edwards is eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Novak is fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So we have exactly what we need. Twenty ramp agents. Twelve here, eight on the... Uh, airplane gates so that's 20 now I'm thinking we probably want more just so that we could have breakers so what if we did like one two three four five six seven more we'll try to do seven more ramp agents um, applicants we have six here let's go ahead and hire all those guys is anybody else gonna turn in a last second application okay you know what we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hire both of you as well Oh, look at that. One of them, uh, I guess, took his application back. Uh, you know what? We'll hire both of you. And then we're going to be good with ramp agents for quite some time. Uh, these guys should be showing up over here. They did. At least one ramp agent was on that bus that just came in. And then now we should be seeing the ramp agents over here. We should actually have six. Uh, yeah, we have the six here, we have the six here, and then a few of them were actually in the break room. So they're kind of going to do like a shift change right there. So that's excellent. And then these guys are knocking this out. Yeah, they're they're much faster with that. Which is actually what we need. Um, we need to do the baggage to be as fast as possible. And we kind of put that maybe in like a bad spot. Maybe we should have put it a little bit closer to the gates. But you know what? Ultimately, it's just going to have to do. Plus, it's got kind of a long way to travel all the way over here from the baggage bay all the way over here to the carousel. That's a little bit further of a trek than what we wanted, but you know what? Oh, well, nothing we could do about that now. Um, let's see now. The Hilltop Cafe, we've served 300, 331 people, and it's growing. So we've made $878 out of that. That's not bad. Um, we might fulfill that contract. Right now, it looks like we are. But this one, I have doubts about this one. Um, we've only made 15 sales. And we have five, pretty much essentially we have six days to do another 1,534 sales. So I really don't think that's going to happen. Oh well, nothing we could really do about that. And I'm thinking too that maybe we put these restrooms in the wrong spot. Because that's kind of forcing these guys to do a little bit of a tight walk over here. But you know what? Oh well. We're going to leave that the way it is. Now I'm thinking too, let's go ahead, let's give these guys another seating area over here. Right? If they're waiting on their baggage. And I'd really, to be honest with you, I'd much rather... I'd much rather just give them the seating area over here. So maybe we should remove this wall. Uh, maybe like remove from down here and then just kind of like cut this over. Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and do that. Let's bulldoze this. And we're going to do something like this. And then if we're going to do that, we're going to probably demolish this wall over here. Or the door. We're going to demolish that door. And then we're going to kind of fix this up a little bit. Make it look a little bit better. Um, let's do a large door over here. And then we're going to do the wall. And I think we want the wall to be coming like over here. And let's do something like this. 
and then that will allow us to do a whole another seating section over here which is clearly something that we need look at this all of that seating area and then all of this yeah it's just it's it's packed so we definitely need to improve on that um we are just going to do the gate seating if we do that we could leave a gap and then do that gap let's do that right there and then we'll do that right there we'll put this same thing down here and that's just gonna have to do it's gonna have to be enough uh, let's go ahead and give them the large plants we'll do large plants there and there uh, let's do trash cans maybe along this wall here and we'll do some trash cans there you know what they have plenty of trash cans over there so we're not really gonna mess with that too much um, they're gonna go ahead they're gonna knock that out then hopefully that kind of convinces these people to just stay over here how is our security looking oh man it's kind of going crazy huh I think we're gonna have to expand these queues We have to do something like that and we're gonna do the same thing over here just come down one go over here down bam 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 and then let's do the same thing over here now did that still mark that as being security or as a uh, like allowing um, passengers to go through or not passengers employees because don't we have we have we do not have an employee security yet. Okay. Yeah, we employees aren't allowed there, and the employees are not allowed there, but they are allowed to go through this one. Um, I'm thinking we probably want an employee-only one, maybe over here, and then just leave that to be a hundred percent for uh, passengers, just like the other two. Now, did that help? That helped a little bit. It did kind of help clear that up. So that's good. There's a lot we need to do here. We need to add in probably the security checkpoint for the employees. We probably add, need to add in another gate agent over here. Not gate agent, but the uh, the check-in desk. Um, you know what? We're going to... I don't know. I don't know. Lots to do. Lots to do. The airport is working pretty solid, though. Let's see. Um, we have plenty of flights coming in every day. We're looking good there. Um, let's go ahead and check on how many people are actually in our airport right now. So we go to the dashboard. We have 434 people. Um, 98 hired employees. Interesting. One is landing. One aircraft is landing. Nine are currently parked. Um, that includes the general aviation too, in case you're wondering. And we do have one departing. Now, let's see here. What do we have? Do we have anything special in the mail? We come all the way up to the recent day. Uh, receipt for craft service truck, construction tutorial. We don't need to do any of these tutorials. Those uh, have all been completed. Um, we're looking good. That plane, oh wow, that's a, that's a big boy right there. That's a big plane. Hold on. Nordic Airlines Systems. Okay, so that's just like a standard airplane right there. That's interesting. Oh, is that that NAS flight? Yeah, Nordic Airlines system. That makes sense. Then over here we have Swiftly. I think that's all we have here today. Uh, of course, we have a bunch of general aviation, which we could kind of expand our general aviation just to make some extra money. But again, that's going to take up... No, we could totally do that. Because that's all this runway is being used for, is general aviation. Um, and it looks... Let's see, a plane just took off. And is the plane going to land? Uh, there's another plane taking off right now. There that goes. 400 bucks for that sucker right there. And then no plane landing. I mean, we have Avgas, right? Like, we've got the Avgas service. Jet A1, Avgas, good. So we're good there. So planes should be able to get refueled. Um, this guy wanted a refuel, and he's only at 22%. This guy over here uh, also wanted to refuel at 89%. Uh, again, wants to refuel 71. 
does not want to refuel at 90. So we should see fuel trucks coming in here. Kind of helping these guys out. Service truck, service truck, service truck, fuel truck, av gas. And then over here, service truck, service truck, service truck, av gas. Do we not have any Jet A1 fuel uh, trucks? Because right now it kind of doesn't look like we do. Hmm. I don't think we do, guys. All service trucks, av gas, service trucks, service trucks, av gas. Yeah, I don't think we have any Jet A1 fuel trucks. That's kind of interesting. All right, let's go to economy. We'll go to procurement. Um, jet A1 fuel. Let's go ahead and do three. And then we'll probably have to build another vehicle bay. Another vehicle depot. Because this one, see, this one's full of five service trucks and an av gas. Then this one over here is five service trucks and an av gas as well. So we don't really have room for the jet a1 fuel trucks let's see what these guys do they're gonna come over here they're gonna get filled up and then are they gonna actually go refuel some planes no they're gonna do their little word u-turn thing and they are gonna go and park oh okay you can actually scroll up and down too okay so never mind this can hold this can hold more. I thought, see, I, I thought this could only hold six. But look, it could hold a bunch. There's a bunch of vehicles parked in there. Not so many in here, but okay, that's crazy. So we did have the, uh, the Jet A1 fuel. Huh. Interesting. All right, not quite sure why we didn't fill up the rest of our general aviation field. Uh, I'm thinking maybe we want to expand on that then. Not 100% sure. But you know what? We did a lot of work today. Uh, we got the uh, the shop and the store in here installed, so we're good to go there And then I don't think we can actually assign how many workers work over here No, we can't do that because we're not really responsible for that. That's like we just have a contract out for that spot We're not really in control of what happens over here, but we've got the restrooms over here for what I thought was the people um, Going into the baggage bay uh, Because they just uh, landed at no slack airport but looks like to me, for the most part, it's being used by people uh, that are actually using the check-in area. So that didn't really do what we wanted it to do. I mean, we could maybe mark this as like a secure zone, but then these would kind of be pointless. So, yeah. Hmm. I don't know. But you know what? We are looking good. We're getting plenty of flights in here. We're not really seeing any backlogs. Doesn't look like, oh, I was going to say there's something broken over here, but they're knocking that out. See, look, as soon as it breaks, it's getting fixed. Is something broken over here, too. Is there a reason nobody's sitting here? No? Just maybe stinky seats or something? Yeah, for the most part, our airport's doing pretty dang well. Pretty dang well. Uh, we have, what, like, uh, I think nine flights coming in every day, or maybe 13 flights coming in every day. Eight, ten, eleven, twelve, eight... Uh, 9, 10, 11. It's 11 flights, and then Sunday we've got 8 flights, and that's just because we don't have any more contracted flights. But, uh, we are good, guys. We are good. That is gonna be the end of this episode. Like I said, we did get a fair amount done. We did, uh, we separated this section, even though it didn't really do anything. We added in more seats, uh, which was, you know, we definitely had to get that done. Um, actually, before we go, let's go ahead and make the flooring over here. We are going to do... We're gonna do the carpet again just something like that kind of make it uniform throughout the airport I guess uh, not gonna do the same thing over here though because that's the actual terminal area and uh, yeah so we added in the uh, the wall separator there added in the seats did the uh, the shopping and the uh, like cafe type thing over here we gave another set of bathrooms uh, to the women and men of no slack airport the ones that well primarily I guess is for the people leaving even though plenty of arriving people are using that as well. And clearly we can't fit another restroom over here. Or else I would give it to them. I don't really want to put it over here. Because if I use this area, it's going to be for the employee check-in. But then I think maybe in the next episode, we are going to be uh, adding in maybe another... Maybe another medium stand. And then down here, we could maybe do like another food section or a shopping section. Uh, for the people that are actually through the terminal. Uh, and then that will really only work if we really do expand further out. Because right now, those shops, any shops or 
uh, food areas that we put over here are going to be essentially pretty far out of the way for, you know, these two gates over here. But you know what? That's something that we're going to figure out in the next episode, guys. If you guys like this episode, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really would mean a lot. And hopefully I'll see you guys on another video. Until then, I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you later. Bye.